It was the summer of 2023 when I found myself at the heart of a truly heartwarming experience and a full circle moment. I was summoned back to my old stomping ground, Sir Frederick Banting Secondary School here in London, Ontario, where I was commissioned to paint two large murals. The first one to span 100 square feet on the ground floor, and the other one 240 square feet on the second floor, were to evoke a sense of pride and belonging. The coordinator behind this endeavor was none other than Ms. Misa Al Saig, or affectionately known by her students as Miss E. She secured the funding from TVDSB for this project, and she brought me together with her two English second language classes, which were a spirited blend of young minds from all corners of the world, setting the stage for a journey of collaboration and creation. Before anything, I engaged with the classes through a series of guest lectures, and these encounters unveiled a tapestry of stories that guided the formation of the mural. This class quickly became my muse as I swapped stories, I shared laughter, and I listened to their goals in life. It was like collecting puzzle pieces, each adding ideas on how they wanted to be represented and remembered by this mural for generations to come. I also facilitated mindfulness through art exercises thanks to my background in teaching mindfulness, which allowed for us to be vulnerable and truly understand each other. All of Miss E's students joined in on the planning of this mural and then lent their hands to the paintbrushes, turning a simple wall into a symbol of unity and empowerment. During their class hours, lunch breaks, and even after school, these groups of spirited students lent their hands and hearts to bring our vision to life. The synergy I had with these ambitious students added a huge layer of vibrancy and meaning to the project. I believe murals hold a unique power, they shape communities, and they bridge gaps. So witnessing students from my past school contribute as the way they did really epitomized the project's role as a unifying force. Okay, so here's the first mural, a vivid portrayal of Miss E's ESL classes. As this first mural came to an end, I couldn't help but anticipate the next chapter, the second mural, where the adventure continued. This one was more so designed under my traditional freestyle technique, featuring the school's mascot, the Bronco, framed by the maroon, gold, and bronco blue hues that represent banting. This one was a bit of a solo adventure, considering exams and the school year ending at the time. But hey, it was all part of the journey. Returning to my old high school after eight years was surreal, working in the halls where I once roamed as a student, except this time, instead of being a student, I was an artist on a mission. The project immersed me in an environment that was both familiar and profoundly nostalgic. It was like being reunited with an old friend, familiar yet excitingly new. Daily conversations with teachers who once taught me, the bustling corridors, and the countless students that would breeze by, constantly dropping positive comments or stopping to hang out with me for a bit. The mural project was an unexpected time capsule of memories which breathed life into the project, underscoring the privilege of returning to my roots to create art. I also couldn't help but constantly reflect on how far I've come in the eight years after graduating from this high school. Between then and now, I've went on to get my bachelor's and master's degrees and then ultimately spent years building my own professional pathway based on creating art and empowering communities. It took countless small stepping stones to get to where I am today, but I'm so grateful I had the drive to take every single small step. Despite having hundreds of people around me during the process of this mural, I also spent countless hours in solitude, either in the early morning, sometimes as early as 5 a.m., or during after hours, sometimes until as late as 9 p.m., which created the meditative and sacred space that I'm so used to while creating murals. And so, as I put the finishing strokes on the second mural, I couldn't help but feel a mix of emotions. Completing this creative journey was like bidding farewell to a dear friend, but who knows what the future holds? As I stepped back, admiring the vibrant artwork, I couldn't help but smile. These murals would continue to welcome students, tell stories, and maybe, just maybe, one day, I'll be back to add another chapter to this tale.